What is up YouTube? Just wanted to come out to you guys with a little quick update, kind of what I did this weekend. Um, I made some stuff for the range, and uh, I'll show you that right now. So I made these target stands. Uh, I, as you can see, there's about six there, and the premise of that, so they're, they're, they're about, I don't know, 98% done. Um, you would just take uprights, and then stick them in there, you know, and then you would mount your target. Or your, so you'd put, you'd staple cardboard across them, and then you just shoot through the cardboard. So I made about six stands. I got about, uh, I have to pick up some more, uh, you know, like some six foot uprights or whatever. And then they just come right out, and then you can put them in the center. You can put one in the center or two in the side. So if you wanted to hang a steel plate here, you would drill through, you know, the top of, of one of these. Oh, there it goes. You know, so I got about six of them, and I'm really excited to use them. So uh, it was all rainy for the first half of the day yesterday. It was all rainy for the first half of the day, um, so it was all wet down the range. So I still have them up here. Um, but I'll take you guys back to the Evo here too. We've been working on this a little bit. I know the Evo content, which essentially the reason I started this channel was for the Evo here, and then it's been blown up the whole time. So we're getting there. Oh, that's really bad over here. So we're getting there. Um, I've got to get my injectors cleaned. I have to get those sent out um, over here. My FICs. Um, get those in, and then the turbo is pretty much ready to go on right now. I'm just kind of, you know, I'm being lazy as fuck about it, but. I really need to get that going. Um, I thought I'd do an EDC video, uh, kind of a pocket dump for you guys. So let's uh, transition into that right now. All right, and we're here. So as I talked about, I kind of want to go through a, you know what, I might have to angle this a little bit. But I apologize, my, the basement down here is absolute chaos. We're remodeling the bathroom because uh, we, one of the pipes in there, one of the main pipes rusted, or not rusted, routed through. So. Sorry about the mess, but I thought I'd go over kind of what you could expect to find or what's in my EDC rotation nowadays. Uh, previous from my first one, there is a couple of changes. Um, we'll start over with just the, my wallet. I no longer carry that Travex. I still have it, but I switched over to a dish, traditional um, bifold. Um, this is just a coach. I forget what they even call this. Um, just a I guess the standard coach wallet. I did have this really cool, it's actually in my safe, this blue camo one, but the seams right here started ripping. Um, and we went in there and for them to warranty it, they wanted to take the wallet, but I was like, no, this is a badass wallet. So then they, um, really cool, actually just gave me that. I still have the Travex. When I have my Travex, I carry it in my, the front of my pocket. And I don't know if I just had too much going on in the front of my pockets, but I wanted to get something back in my back pocket. Uh, but I'm actually not thinking about it now. I might go back to the tray back because I don't like sitting on my wallets. So getting into the car, sitting at my desk, I always take my wallet out of my pocket. So I might go back to that tray back so I can keep it in my front pocket. But um, car keys, very, very minimal. I've just got, uh, if you've ever heard of Joe Knows Best and his Fuel Force brand, I've just got that key tag, my Jet and House key. That's all I have on my keys. Uh, my knife, you know what? I don't remember what this is called. Hold on one second. ERKT Caligo. Um, this is not an assisted opening. Um, stainless blade. I don't know the what kind of stainless. It's super sharp though. Um, I don't know if that's going to pick it up, but you can see it says Caligo there. Um, it's got this pretty little blue kind of anodized ring in there. Um, you can only carry the blade up with the clip. It's not adjustable. You can't move it anywhere, but the blade is sharp. Um, and it's a nice little EDC uh, knife. If you guys have knives that you like or want me to check out, leave me in the comments. I, I'm I'm big into knives and I like uh, carrying out or switching out my EDC. I had that old blue Kershaw, and when I was getting out of a vehicle, I clipped over, or turned, and the clip like hit the the B pillar, and then like like it like bent way open. So now it's not as tent or it doesn't have much tension anymore um, so it doesn't it just slides over your you know your pocket and then doesn't um, there's no retention to it uh, I guess you could say and now for the meat and potatoes I just got this today um, this is my Glock 43 
Uh, just for the sake of the video, it is cleared, but there is rounds in the mag. I'm not going to rack it back though. Um, this is my Glock 43 and my QVO um, QVO Tactical Quick Violent over um, IWB More Discreet Gray Cordura over Red. Um, and this is a just a just a bomb little timepiece. I don't know if you can if it'll focus on those edges, um, but it's just money. Um, I've got one for my Glock 26. I've got one for my 19. Uh, I've actually got two for my 26, one for my 19, one for my 43. I've got one coming for the Smith & Wesson. And I've got a couple of their wingman rigs, which are um, the full appendix with a mag and a gun um, coming as well. Uh, but this thing is absolute beast. Uh, QVO is the only holsters I ever own. I actually found them through Talon Sai on his YouTube channel. Um, and if you don't run... QVO Tactical, you're wrong, and I hate you for it. So get on this train. I'm just kidding, by the way. But get on this train. Um, it's they're absolutely the quality is is a phenomenal, um, and the amount of customization you can do. Uh, just for the sake of the video, I'll pull out my 26 one. It's Alpine over neon yellow. Also an IWB more discreet option, um, but this thing is absolutely killer for the 26 and actually no I have the 26 in here and you can just just listen to this click this retention I mean it's so it's just it's lovely so I have to change out this base plate because I don't like the red on the with the alpine and white but um, the like I said the 43 is in my rotation now uh, maybe one of these days I'll give you guys a safe tour um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, more to come on the range. Like I said, I built those targets, so I have to get uprights. We'll staple some cardboard down there. And we'll get down to the range. We'll do some quick target acquisition with the AR pistol, the Springfield Saint. Uh, I'll do some, see if we can do some quick draws or some time draws, you know, carrying an appendix rig or side carry, drawing and firing. And I printed out some targets um, that you do five shots left, five shots right, reload, three shots in the center. I saw um, Bryce Lolly do it on Instagram and Roger at QVO, so I thought I'd give that a shot. It looks really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I promise more more content coming soon. Um, working on the Evo, it's just so hot up here to be out in that shop when it's 90 degrees and 80 fucking percent humidity. Um, I was out there for like half hour, 45 minutes on Saturday, and I was my tea was literally just soaked. From top to bottom from sweating so um that's about it uh let me know if you guys have any questions uh leave me some suggestions for knives um you know what gear you'd like to see i'm kind of as you can see i'm kind of a glock fanboy i do have a smith and wesson um, i looking to get a cz added to the mix here and uh, uh we'll see i'm just a my hobbies have shifted a lot i'm just a guy that likes guns cars you know you name it. So thanks so much for stopping in, you guys. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you joining me. Um, if you haven't, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Leave a recommendation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.